Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going to take a look at a, another massive feature spotted on Google Earth, and it's there again today. James S. sent me a video of this feature we're gonna take a look at here in just a moment. Also, something spotted through his telescope from Northwest Georgia. Video footage sent in by JT. Gonna take a closer look at that here in a moment. Also have a brand new picture slideshow. New epic sky photos sent in from all around the world. Much like this one here, we're looking at photos sent in by Jeff L. out of Saskatoon, Canada. He was photographing the moon on November the 7th. Upon looking at his photos, he noticed something interesting in this photograph here that I'm sharing with you guys. Typically, you can get birds that fly into the field of view when you're taking photos and videos, for that matter, especially videos, of the moon. I've seen it hundreds of times, to be honest. And I gotta tell you, this one's a little different. Doesn't look like a, a classic bird. Don't know what it is, don't claim to know. Just sharing it with you guys, you tell me. What are we looking at here? Looks like a classic saucer. That's what we're looking at, but is it? You know, could it be a, a bird in a unique position? I don't know, I just found it interesting. And again, I don't know what it is. I'm just passing it along as it's too good not to share. Since we're here at the website, we'll check out the Schumann Resonance. All in all, pretty quiet, got a little bit of activity in the Schumann Resonance. More than likely, that can be traced back to the sun. Hopping over to the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera. Steady flow of energy around the caldera. This is the new norm. And to be honest, I would expect a little bit of activity from the, the caldera seismos. After all, it is a super volcano, but we've seen a, a small increase in activity over the, the past few months, but we don't want to come over here and see all these dark blue. That would indicate a lot of movement. Right now, we're just seeing a, a little bit of movement, but it is there every day. Right now, I want to go down to Northwest Georgia and look at a video sent in by JT of something in the sky. And it's, this was during the, the daylight hours and he filmed this through the eyepiece of his telescope something up in the sky check this out you're gonna think this is a balloon much like i do i totally agree but again it's just one of those too good not to share i don't know what this is but typically with balloons and i've seen balloons through my telescope before i, I actually saw a balloon explode and it went into uh, shreds not pieces long like ribbons it was some sort of a balloon but on the balloon that I saw in the sky, it had a very obvious payload hanging down below it. And it was a square box. And it was in the eastern sky right out here in southeast Phoenix. And I was viewing it through my telescope. That's not the case here, though. We're looking at some sort of a structure in the sky that has reflective properties. It's reflecting sunlight. Almost looks to be semi-transparent. Most balloons are semi-transparent, so you would think, okay, we're looking at a balloon here. But he didn't feel like it was just a balloon, and, and when you look at it, it doesn't have a payload underneath it. And typically, balloons are carrying some sort of a payload that can collect data in the atmosphere of a wide variety of things, you know, cosmic rays, there's weather balloons that go up all the time collecting different types of data for weather predictive models, but you don't see anything hanging off of the bottom of this thing. It's some sort of a structure that does reflect light, almost has a, like I said, semi-transparent appeal to it, but don't know what it is. Don't claim to know. It's just another one of those that's too good not to share. Sent in by JT out of Northwest Georgia. Thank you, JT. Appreciate that. Now we're going to go to Google Earth. These little video clips were sent in by James S., November of 2020, and we've seen this before back in 2019, extending from South America all the way across the equator up through the Atlantic into North America. Now we've got this, you're going to see here in this little video segment right there, this long feature that actually spans over 3,000 miles. Looks like it's in the sky, looks like some sort of a, a long roll cloud. And again, this video footage taken from Google Earth was sent in by James. And here it is below Australia. Same type of thing, spanning probably a couple thousand miles from Antarctica up to the southern edge of basically Perth. But you go up here into Asia, that spans over 3,000 miles. But here's the thing. 
You go to Google Earth, and you look at Google Earth today, this is right now. There's that feature again, and once again, spanning over 3,000 miles. We saw this back in 2019. It went from lower South America, below the equator, in fact, well below the equator, up through South America, across the equator, and well up into Canada. That was in 2019, and now we're seeing it again. I don't know if this is something that's occurring every day on a, you know, if it's reoccurring newly or if this is something that's there all the time. Um, I know I've seen it before, but this is, uh, I don't know, it's pretty extraordinary, whatever it is. We have no way of confirming this from the ground. Back in 2019, we had some footage from the ground that looked like a very long roll cloud structure up in the sky. So not sure what we've got going on there, but it's kind of interesting. James noticed that and shared this video footage with me, and I'm just passing it along with you guys. Ultimately, as always, you guys decide. Now we're going to take a look at our brand new picture slideshow, new sky phenomena photos sent in from all around the world. Watoki out of Singapore. A very impressive shelf cloud low to the ground, rolling over Singapore. Here it is in original format. You can see the rain shaft right in the center of that structure, dropping rain as it's moving in. This, of course, was in fast forward. Big Bear Lake, California, Max, some very impressive lenticular clouds above Big Bear Lake. Those are highly photogenic. Ashley out of southwest Louisiana, very impressive jumbo halo around the sun above southwestern Louisiana. That would be in November of 2020. Northeast Georgia, Misty Day K. This is a big halo around the moon. Full moon of October 31st, 2020. Robert S. out of Stroud, Oklahoma. Fiery orange clouds. And here we've got some unique clouds that kind of look like chevrons lined up in a, a long row above Oklahoma. London, photo sent in by Alan of what looked like gravity waves filling the skies above London, England. Sacramento, California, Brenda V. Beautiful sunset here. Looks like a big egg over there on the horizon. Sky once again, fiery orange like we see here out of Cleveland, Ohio. Photo sent in by Brian B. And then he noticed this, which was it looked out of place. That's why he took the photo to begin with. You've got a patch of purple over here, very low on the horizon, and there was no purple anywhere else in the sky. Great observation. Portugal, Carlos Skywatcher. That looks like a, a giant wedge tornado that just happened to be orange, and that's not a tornado. That's just a big cloud structure. Another photo here by Carlos. More fiery orange that we see in the sky. We've been seeing that a lot here lately, all over the world. More dark orange here, almost a red color. Photos once again by Carlos out of Portugal. Christopher, Mount Rainier, another lenticular cloud that, that looks like a stack of pancakes in the sky or some sort of a ship. Moving over Mount Rainier, Cherry M, Saudi Arabia. Sunset looks like the sun is diving down below the horizon. Here it is in inverted format. That's how I received the photo. Lena M, photos from the Irish Sea. And once again, you can see what look like chevrons lined up in the, the bright pink cloud out above the Irish Sea. Bryn B, Fort Worth, Texas. Yet another jumbo halo around the sun. Kind of got a flat feature up there on the, the top edge of that, that halo. See it right there? Got one there and down below, too. It's kind of hard to see the one down below. Spring Hill, Florida. Laura C. Double-decker rainbow. And behind some orange clouds. Speaking of orange clouds, pictures sent in by Coronica S. Not exactly sure of the location, but that is one spectacular sky. Incredible. Hemet, California. Greg, this is the El Dorado wildfire. These are some of the smoke plumes from the wildfire. Photos sent in by Craig as they were billowing thousands of feet up into the atmosphere. Very thick smoke from the historic California wildfires. Hennig K, Paris, Texas. Another beautiful sunset. Texas, Sam Walker. This is some sort of a structure up in the sky. He was describing that as some sort of what looked like a ship up in the sky. He shared those two photos with me. I'm sharing them with you guys. Toronto, Greg D, more fiery orange skies. Look at those clouds. This is the moon, and, and Greg noticed what appeared to be the, the clouds behind the moon. 
I don't know if that's some sort of a, an optical illusion that showed up in that photograph. Neat photograph either way. Joanne and Pri out of Laguna Beach, California. Awesome photos here of the ocean waves crashing into the coast. And in the background, a spectacular sunset. Look at the waves there. Maverick 69 out of Cape Town. Another beautiful sunset here with some sort of a dark, unique cloud here that resembles some sort of a structure. I'll leave that up to you guys to decide. Great photos, guys. Keep them coming. If you have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All of the photos end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery at the website. And sometimes I'll use them in a video slideshow just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day. And be safe out there.